If you mention the word Stearns to anyone around the SVR, they're generally going to assume there's a problem. This area, which is between Bridgenorth and Hampton Lode, is notorious because time and time again, the land on this side of the trap literally slips away into the River Severn. In fact, if you're going to build a railway and you had a choice, you probably wouldn't bother putting one here at all. To put things right for the 2022 running season, we're taking advantage of the shutdown period to do some serious remedial work at Stearns. It's always been problematic for, for the railway, uh, not just in preservation days, but I think even through Great Western days and British Railways days, there's always been problems of historic land movement, uh, not just on this part of the site, but the whole, the whole site we pass as Stearns is all moving towards the river ever so slowly and it's our job to uh, try and keep putting it right. My role is, uh, basically I'm in charge of, of the track. Um, anything that moves between Highley and, and Bridgenall is under my responsibility at the moment as possession manager. So basically we've got a work site rather than a running railway, which I'm now uh, responsible for. So all the works trains and all the machinery that you can see um, is under the control of Seven Valley via himself. So we've got ourselves a, a, a safe work site in which to, to, to work. So I've been responsible for taking the old materials away and disposing of it and bringing the new materials into site with the, the engine and the two wagons in the background. the magic stuff, LECA, lightweight expanded clay aggregate. It's wonderful stuff and we've never used it before on the railway. It's 75% less dense, so only 25% of the weight of the sort of material which was already in this embankment and that's really really important here because we've got an underlying problem with instability in the hillside and it's been going on ever since the railway was built. So this area of the line and if you just go around that way you'll see how the rails down there are dipping so we have a problem here with the ground continuously and almost imperceptibly moving and it's been doing this for probably 150 years or something like that so and the underlying cause as always with these sort of problems is water there's a layer of layers of clay down here and in unstable ground and the water just lubricates that and it gradually moves little tiny little bits of the time but occasionally it goes a little bit more suddenly we've had a few instances of that so the purpose of this is to take the load off those unstable layers down below In the side of the excavation here, we can see the various layers of fill. So we've got some ash here, which would, could have been put in, I don't know, 100 years ago, or whoever knows how long ago. And then some more fill that's been put in, and then up here, more layers of ash and, and ballast that's been added to this embankment as it's gone down. And of course, that all adds to the weight of it. And we've had to do more ballasting. There's a huge amount of ballast in here to keep the track up but it all adds to the weight and that is the problem. So that's why this Laker ag aggregate is, we think, going to be really helpful to reduce the weight on the substrate. So this is a monitoring borehole, or at least it's the bit which has been exposed whilst this work is going on. Because the ground has been moving over a very long period of time, we decided that we needed to have some facts as to what was going on. So some monitoring boreholes were put in, which tell us how much the ground is moving down below. Uh, and when all this uh, Laker aggregate is put back and the track is back down, this will still be sticking up at the top of the ballast and we'll be able to, again, monitor it after all of this work has been done.
The improvements here at Stearns are all part of the behind the scenes work that's going on here during our shutdown period so that we'll look our best when we reopen on April the 2nd. See you then.